Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well. My name is Katie and I make book related videos every single Wednesday, although for the next month, probably much more often than Wednesday because as you guys might be able to tell, I'm back in my high school bedroom. I'm officially on winter break, no school, no work for a solid month. So I'm so excited to just do a ton of reading this month, film a ton of videos for you guys. I'm also really excited to read physical books. I have a big stack of them here because I've only had time to listen to audiobooks while I've been driving. I can only listen to books for so long. Also, I have some exciting news. I'm going to be hosting the live show for Harry Christmas to You for Goblet of Fire today, Wednesday the 14th, over at 2 p.m. on their Twitter. I'll have the link to their Twitter down below. I'm going to try and keep it PG-13, but it's going to be hard. So if you love Harry Potter, make sure to go ahead and follow that down below. I have a giant stack of books here, so let's go ahead and get started. So the first book is Shadow of the Wind by Carlos Ruiz Zafon, or Zafon. I always thought there was an R there. If we had a shot of alcoholic eggnog for every single time I said I was going to read this book, we'd be very intoxicated. But I'm adamant that this is going to be one of the first books I tackle over winter break. I don't know why I never get into it. And I actually, for some reason, after months of intending to read it, I have literally no idea what this is about, except for the fact that it's set in Spain. So I've been re meaning to read more short stories, and I also think it's really important to read more diversely. I definitely need to read a lot more diversely than I do. So I'm very excited to read What Happened to Interracial Love by Kathleen Collins. This is a collection of short stories. I was sent it by Book of the Month, hauled it in my last video. So it also looks like it'll be a very fast read, so since I'm trying to read a ton of books this month, that's helpful. Then we have a book I've owned for a very, very long time. I picked this up at Goodwill, I want to say like two or three years ago for like 50 cents or a dollar, and that is Little Children by Tom Perota. And I have seen the movie, although thankfully I don't remember the ending, but I remember that part of this has to do with a pedophile, and the other part of it has to do with Kate Winslet and Patrick Wilson, who are both married to different people having sex in a laundry room. If you've seen the movie, you know what I'm talking about. But yeah, so I think although this takes place in a small town and it seems kind of innocuous, it deals with some very difficult topics. Then we have Pull Me Under by Kelly Luce. I absolutely adore the cover of this book, so creepy. I hauled this in my last video and it takes place first in Japan where a young girl is tormented by her bullies, so she myrtles, myrtles, so she murders one of her bullies and then is sent to a mental institution and then when she gets out, she goes to the US and kind of create a new face and self. Well, I meant a new identity, but I'm sure you guys know what I mean. So really, really intrigued by this. And in my last video, a lot of you guys were saying you wanted me to read this, and I definitely will be. Then we have The Ice Twins. This is a psychological thriller. You guys know, one of my favorite things. And I don't remember exactly what this is about, but I want to say it's one of the twins goes missing and one of the other twins helps find her. I'm not exactly sure, but again, I've had this for a really long time. I've been meaning to read it for a super long time. Next is a dystopian, which I have not read a dystopian, I want to say it feels like in years, but this is On Such a Full Sea by Chang Rei Li, and this is about in the future, people from China are sent to Baltimore, which is referred to as Be More, to live there, and this girl who is a fish tanker notices that her boyfriend has gone missing, so she sets out to try and attempt, I think I'm gonna sneeze, so she sets out to attempt to find him in this dystopian world. I've heard really mixed things about this. Are those... Those are some note cards. So please let me know if you've read this and what you thought about it. But my friend did buy this for me and she really loved it and I really trust her taste in books. Two other books that I don't have physical copies of that I do want to read. First is Homegoing. So I'd been listening to about three hours of it into my nine hour drive and suddenly it clicked off and I could just feel with dread that it had fucking expired. So it had expired because I'd been listening to it for free through the app from my library. But the silver lining is, well not for my wallet, but I accidentally spent six months worth of Audible credits. It's very painful for me because I'm a very cheap person. You guys know this about me. Some of you did say that if that happens, Audible sometimes will refund you if you'll call them. I'm going to attempt to go ahead and do that, but, but, but the issue is when I saw I had done that, I immediately downloaded six books and then canceled it just because I was worried I would forget again that I hadn't canceled it yet. So I think they might be like, bitch, you already downloaded six books and then canceled it. So I don't know. We'll see. But either way, I was loving Homegoing, so I'm really excited to get back into it. So I also want to read anything by Sarah Waters. I know she's written a book called The Little Friend and another one. And please let me know if you guys have read Sarah Waters, which book you recommend I start off with, which one you think is her best and your personal favorite, because I've just been really wanting to read her for probably the past like five years. Wait, so we just have two more books and you might be thinking, Katie, is there any possibility you're really going to read all of these books over winter break? No, there's really not. So I hopefully want to read like 75% of these, but please let me know which of these you really want to see me read and kind of focus and 
hone in on. Then we have You Will Know Me by Megan Abbott. I adore Megan Abbott. Dare Me was one of my favorite young adult books I've ever read. Just very dark and interesting. This has to do with the caddy world of gymnastics, but I'm sure it's going to have a very, very dark twist. And the final book is Real World by Natsuo Carino, and this is about a group of teenagers. I read this blurb, I want to say like three months ago, so we'll see if I remember it accurately, but I believe it's about a group of teenagers who set out to find a serial killer, and I want to say this takes place in Japan, yeah, in a Tokyo suburb. So it sounds really interesting. Hunting down serial killers is definitely the type of thing I liked to do when I was 14. I don't know about you guys. So those are all the books I'm hoping to read over the next little over a month. Please again let me know which ones you guys are most interested in me reading, and go ahead and please follow Harry Christmas to you on Twitter, and check them out today at 2 p.m. if you want to follow along with me watching Goblet of Fire. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you're having a wonderful holiday season, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.